in a world where we live in peace and harmony, not knowing that we are under attack by groups of pathogens. We have this special kind of enforcement that actually get rid of those mere microorganisms, and it is called the human immune system. Now, our human immune system is like a prison with tight security system. Like, if the prisoner tries to break out of one, there are still two left for them to break. So, now let's just introduce you to our first security system, or what we called it, the first line of defense, or another name, innate immunity. So, it is where every intruder invades first. Skin is also one of the first line defense, which defends us from bacteria and other pathogens that try to enter our body. And another thing that you might find it kind of disgusting and very gooey, but you know, just accept it because it's a part of our life. The thing we call the mucus. Now, just. Like what I said a while ago, it actually belongs to this side of defense, and even though it's kind of gooey and disgusting sometimes, it actually blocks us from pathogens and other bacteria that tries to get inside our nose or through our respiratory system. But hey, what if the first line of defense fails and other pathogens enters our body? What shall we do? And who shall we look up to? Hmm. Don't worry, kid. This is the time for the second line of defense, where three guardians of this line, which are macrophage, neutrophils, and monocytes, tries to gobble up those pathogens or the intruders. Now, I would like to clarify to you that these three cells actually have different kinds of devouring techniques, but all these techniques are actually the same. And the technique that they're trying to gobble up those intruders. Is called phagocytosis, and by using phagocytosis, it makes them a phagocytic cell. Now, let's move on to the next process, which is called inflammation. I know that it might seem to be very painful sometimes when you suffer from inflammation, but it actually helps us heal and. In the process of inflammation, there's this thing called histamine molecule that actually spread by the mast cell inside the connective tissue, which indicates where the pathogen is and where should all those phagocytic cells go. Now, the second line of defense seems to be like a very tight security system, but you know. If there's a stronger pathogen that can pass, it can. It can actually surpass the second line of defense. But don't worry. There's this line of defense, which is called the third line of defense, or another name, the acquired immunity. Which the star of this third line of defense is called the B cell, which we can found it in the bone marrow. Yeah, when it grows up, it actually contains 10,000 protein antigens that can actually kill those pathogens. And when the pathogen actually enters the third line of defense, the B cell actually tries to find the true enemy and fight them. And here's the epic scene of the third line of defense. Hey kid, step aside! I'm gonna kill you. No, you shall not pass. Let's see about that, huh? Haha, <laughs> gotcha! Now, when the B cell actually binds with the pathogen, it actually forms a group or what we call an army of itself, which has different kinds of jobs or different kinds of soldier. Mainly two, which are the memory cell and the effector cell. So next time, when the same pathogen invades the third line of defense, the B cell will bind itself to the pathogen and release the same antigen that actually killed the invaders. Now, talking about bone marrow and stuff, we can also find this little guy in the bone marrow too. And 
when it grows up or mature, we can also find this thing in the thymus, and that little thing is called the T cell, which we can divide the T cell into two, which are the helper and the cytotoxin T cell. So, let me explain to you about the duty of both of them. So, the helper T cell is like a commander in the real world. It actually commands those other killer cells to kill those pathogens. And last but not least, it's our star of this acquired immunity system or the third line of defense, which is called the cytotoxin. It actually do the killing of the abnormal cell, which is a great thing. Thank you for watching, guys. I hope you guys get something from this animation. We really work hard for this thing, and yeah, please subscribe. Thank you.